immature, mentally unstable, sad shopaholics who have lost control of their lives, an obvious cry for help. These are just some of the things said about My Melody fanatics. Are these baseless claims or is there some validity to the My Melody theory? Together, we'll investigate this controversial topic. Hello Cupcakes, my name is Rosie and I am your Sanrio expert. And a few years ago, I was very active on social media, posting everything about my kawaii lifestyle and especially my Sanrio room. During this time, it happened very often that my images would be stolen and then uploaded by random people. So it became very routine for me to check, almost on a daily basis, who was using my images without my consent. And in one of those instances, there was a new culprit. It wasn't the random girl in Thailand uploading my pictures, passing them off as her own. It wasn't the Chinese factory who was using my images to sell their bootleg Sanrio products. This time it was an online article written by a blogger in Japan. And the headline of the article article read Menhera, which at the time I didn't know what it meant. But after reading the article, my takeaway was that in a nutshell, this article was claiming that women who liked my melody suffer from mental health issues. And yeah, they used my image to show what a mentally unstable person's room looks like. Fast forward six years later and Jirai K fashion movement is gaining popularity in Japan. And Jirai K girls are typically into My Melody and Kuromi specifically. Which is probably why we saw a lot of romantically dark themed collections coming out of Japan in the recent years. Inspired by the Jirai K fashion lovers who are very much into these Sanrio characters. If we look at the darker side of Jirai K fashion, some associations have been made, some generalizations have been created. And these are not my personal opinions as I am neither a representative of this fashion or even a user, it has been said that Jirai K, let's say lifestylers in Japan, have been known to deal with depression and anxiety. And similarly, in the article that I read six years ago, it also claimed that women who were into my melody also suffered from similar issues. So I investigated this theory that there's a direct correlation between loving my melody and having mental health issues. And what I found, was actually pretty shocking. So if you're a My Melody lover or a Sanrio lover in general, then I invite you to look at this checklist with me. Does any of it describe you? Let's see together if there's any truth behind this theory. If it's all just a coincidence or if it's all a bunch of bull. So this checklist comes from combining the attributes that I found in various articles, forums, blog posts from Japan who said, hey, everyone who likes My Melody seems to have these characteristics. Let's see if any of this resonates with you. Trauma, anxiety, easily depressed, and volatile. So these bullets suggest that a person has experienced a traumatic event that has impacted their mental health and their behavior. Anxiety can manifest itself in a variety of ways, as excess worry, fear, nervousness, and that can lead to having feelings of sadness, hopelessness, a loss of interest in activities, or even people. It can make people prone to experiencing these symptoms in response to stress and negative life events, which can lead to sudden outbursts of anger or other intense emotions, all which can have a significant impact on a person's quality of life and especially in their ability to function like a normal person. So what does this have to do with my melody? Well, from personal experience, I can tell you that my melody has definitely served as a distraction. She provided me with a sense of calm in a chaotic world and an instant cure to sadness. I definitely think it has to do with her super girly designs and her almost fairy tale like quality that transports me to a different place mentally. A place where things are bright and cheery and colorful. And since my melody is pink, at least in my culture, pink is a safe color. It's the color of childhood. All the greatest things are pink. Barbie, ponies, bubblegum, strawberry ice cream. So color association really plays a huge part and is probably the reason why I personally gravitate to my melody rather than let's say Kuromi or other Sanrio characters. Overbearing, selfish, no self-awareness, 
and toxic positivity. These bullets suggest that a person may have difficulty with boundaries and may try to control or dominate others in their relationships. It suggests that this person may prioritize their own needs and desires over those of others, potentially to the detriment of the relationship. It also suggests that this person may be unaware of their own negative emotions and may try to maintain a positive facade, potentially harming themselves or others. Okay, so what does this have to do with my melody? People who come off as clingy or selfish are, in my view, obviously in need of help and are probably not getting what they want out of their relationships. So that includes family, friends, and significant others. It could be that my melody provides an instant gratification that you just can't get from an actual person. Because someone who isn't self-aware is incapable of seeing their own flaws and oftentimes blame others for their own circumstances. But you know who will never let you down? My melody. Well, materialism, really. Which brings me to my last point. Escapism and shopping addiction. These bullets suggest that a person may be using maladaptive coping mechanisms such as substance abuse or avoidance to escape from their problems. And My Melody is definitely an escape from reality. When I had a really hardcore My Melody room, I definitely did it with the intention that all I wanted to see was My Melody. Because if all I could see was My Melody, then I had no room in my mind for negative thoughts. Right? Happy space, happy mind. My bedroom definitely became a safe haven that I could run away to. But ultimately, what did that lead to? A mild shopping addiction needing that constant instant gratification. That feeling of euphoria when you unbox a brand new Sanrio something. Right? That retail therapy. That constant Christmas. And that constant flow of happiness means a constant flow of money, which can lead to some bad financial decision making. It's definitely a way to cope with negative emotions, a way to try to mask it or even to give the user a sense of control. Which brings us to the end of our list. So I personally did go through all those phases and my melody was my cure in a variety of situations. But that's not to say that everyone who likes my melody is suffering from some sort of mental health issue or is somehow unstable. That is a stereotype that was created in Japan. I just want to make that very clear. However, in the US and other countries outside of Japan, we don't have to worry about this stigma. In fact, knowing that my Melody is a champion of mental health makes me like her even more and makes me want to help advocate for those who might be suffering as well, which is why I decided to make this video. Sanrio has actually taken notice of this bizarre My Melody theory. And if you follow My Melody's Japanese Twitter account, you might have noticed that since 2017, My Melody has been posting tons of encouraging messages to those who are stressed, anxious, depressed, or just having a bad day, which has really helped to open the doors to discuss these topics openly, which hasn't been done in Japan before. But what do you guys think? Were you able to relate to anything that was on the checklist? Has my melody or another Sanrio character helped you when you were feeling down? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your story. And if you're enjoying the Sanrio content, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I have tons of other Sanrio videos with more yet to come. If you want to support me, you can now leave a super thanks, that's the heart icon on the player below, or you can support me for free by commenting on this video, giving it a like, and sharing it with someone that you know likes Sanrio. My name is Rosie, this is my channel, Rosio Serial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.